All right, gents, welcome back to Washington Watch from Los Angeles. Glad you're here. Mm -hmm. uh, let's jump right to this thing. Uh, buddy, you are so called or oh, self-proclaimed world's greatest comic golfer. Yeah. But you're kind of gimpy right now because you, you blew your knee out yeah. uh, doing some kind of Omega dance. Was it like a voodoo dance or something? <laughs> I mean, I rolled, we're not even going to start. What? Okay, we're not even going to start. Okay, I mean, just With your little alpha, uh, uh, little, you know, anger, we're going we to let that subside. We're going to let it subside. <laughs> Self-proclaimed world's best carbon golfer. So I got to ask you, mm -hmm. Tiger Woods. <laughs> Everybody is going in on Tiger. Uh, I, I, you know what? I don't know. I don't know what the problem is. You know uh, what Tiger Woods should have come out and said instead of apologizing. He should have just come out and said, "I'm Tiger Woods." <laughs> And then that's it. That's it. And just walked out. Everybody was so, you know, just all the drama with Tiger. And uh, was it just overkill? Yeah, it, it was. But I want to first of all, I want to I want to welcome Tiger Woods um, to Black America. Um, he finally he's finally black because uh, before he wasn't quite black. <laughs> now he's like 100 percent black. And America's <laughs> mad at him because you know he's a black man. And he had all these white women. If he had just, if you're gonna cheat, cheat with a real black woman. You okay, know, so what's the difference? That would have made him because he would have gotten everything in one package because a black woman can give you everything. If you'd married black, you'd have been fine. <laughs> I just believe in that. I, you know, I just believe there's nothing better than a black woman. I'm just, I'm just biased. I married one. You know, my mom is one for those that didn't know. You know, so black women do it right. And he wouldn't have had those problems. No, he would have had some problems. No, no, some problems, he but not those problems. problems. So it probably wouldn't have been a golf club. Um, no, it would have been her brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Because he would have been beating his tail. <laughs> John, I got to ask you, 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 you make a point. You know, we, we live in a, in a world now where, where if you really want to be a hot comic, you've got to be uh, on edge, you've got mm -hmm. to be dirty, you've got mm -hmm. to say anything that comes mm -hmm. to mind. But, you, but you've made a point mm -hmm. in your career about being a clean comedian. Mm -hmm. Looking back, though, and you look at the success of other people, mm -hmm. have you ever said maybe this wasn't the right move? Never said it. My, my goal has always been just to let people know that there are, there are options. You know, black people are not one-dimensional. And black people cuss, but then there are some black people who don't cuss. You know, so I want to... I mean, I cuss. I mean, I mean I'm, no, I'm married dude. to a minister, but I don't drink, I don't smoke, but I cuss you out. That, well, that's okay. You know, and people want to, <laughs> you know, people want to hear comedians who talk like them. You know, so I've never been the cat that said, you know, because of my... Like, I love... Cat Williams is one of my favorites. Right. I love, you know, I think if he was here today, he would have... Say, I would like to tell everybody today that when I'm on Watch It, don't watch with Roland Martin, I'm going to have to get up on a pedestal so I can... You know, that's nothing. <laughs> but, so, I, I don't, you know, I never had any regrets. One time I cussed, I entered the Red Fox <laughs> comedy search years ago, mm -hmm. and I thought I had to cuss. And I, my, one of my best friends is a professional cusser, actor Shy McBride. That's my man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he, he's a real cusser. I wrote my material out. He put in the cuss words where they fit in. <laughs> I did my, the competition and won. But I didn't feel right doing it because it's not me. So uh, I just think that people are just a lot more open to the diversity of black people. I'll tell you, there's one person who is truly professional cusser is John Witherspoon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. John, he can make any cuss word for oh, yeah. I mean, he can yeah. make it flow right out of his mouth. That's, yeah. that's, that's, and that's a beautiful thing. It's very interesting when you look at what's happening in comedy. You look at Saturday Night Live, mm -hmm. and you talk about uh, a lot of these shows. You have a white actor who's playing President Barack Obama. Mm -hmm. uh, and you look at uh, how big deals are made of the lack of African-American comedy mm -hmm. writers on many of these late night shows. Mm -hmm. uh, and so uh, from your vantage point, uh, you know, how difficult is it to sit here and say, wait a minute, I have just as much skill as other folks. Uh, but even when it comes to what's funny, the door is not as open as it should be. Um, that, that's true, but the, the, the one thing we got to do now is, is stop saying that the, there, there are no opportunities. Right. Because the, the, I'm going to tell you, the Internet is the great equalizer in the entertainment business. If you decide, I'm going to put something on that's funny, and people come to watch what's funny on your site, somebody is going to come and say, I'm, I want to be a part of this, and you can make 
money and, and 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 because the dynamic in Hollywood has changed we're no longer they're no longer really producing things you got to produce something yeah. and sell it to them and you know that we'll buy it after it's produced but mm -hmm. we're not producing anything so and, and I tell people that are that always ask what do you what's what's the best way to get involved in Hollywood produce your own thing do it go out there and shoot some stuff with your flip camera your, your cell phone do whatever you got to do make a name for yourself use the internet for what it's worth